Hey everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Title Scoop. So this week we're continuing our escrow talks and we're going to talk about the Alta settlement statement and the HUD one and really what you're looking at um, and the differences in those. So a couple weeks ago, we did discuss the Alta settlement statement and that was a document that was created when TRID changed um, the rules and we started using the CD and Alta really, that was their answer to it to make a simplified settlement statement that had all the same fees, uh, but made it a little bit easier to look at. And it was a little bit closer to what we were used to with the HUD-1 settlement statement. Now the fees are going to be the same across the board and the numbers need to match as we did discuss before. But again, it's a little bit simplified and makes it a little easier to look at and review with a buyer or a seller. Um, the other thing is they are, are the actual numbers. And I say that because it's a little confusing and we didn't really touch on this much, but on the CD, the owner's and lender's title premium is shown sometimes in a way where it's a little confusing to know who's actually paying it because it's required by uh, the CFPB to show it a certain way. So w some people prefer to use the Alta settlement statement because again, it shows exactly what each party's gonna pay. So if you, I did include links to both the Alta settlement statement and the HUD one. So if you wanna pull them up when we're going through these, it might be easier. Um, as you'll see on the Alta settlement statement, it's got categories. It doesn't really have sections like the CD and the HUD one. So it's got financial, prorations, adjustments, loan charges to the lender, other loan charges, impounds, title charges, and escrow settlement charges, government recordings, transfer charges, payoffs, and miscellaneous. Um, at the bottom, it gives the subtotals and the totals of the amounts to, from, borrower, buyer, or seller. And then the bottom line of the CD and the Alta settlement statement should match. So as I said before, you've got to have those match. And as long as those numbers match, hopefully, um, <laughs> you'll be good to go. The acknowledgments on the final page. So um, again, a lot of times we get that signed in addition to the CD. Now the HUD-1, um, as we mentioned before, it was created actually like 30 years ago. Um, and for the most part, it's for cash and commercial transactions. Although we are seeing a little bit of a movement for cash transactions on the Alta settlement statement. Just depends on where you're at, um, whether you'll see that or not. The other thing is we do see the HUD-1 uh, used for reverse mortgages a lot. So if you do reverse mortgages, you may have that... Um, requirement from your lender to use the HUD-1 because it's not a, a TRID um, transaction. So the HUD-1 is actually divided into sections similar to the CD, but there's no correlation between them. So that's the interesting thing. They're lettered and numbered um, much differently. And if you have the HUD-1 up, you can look. Page one really has the settle is of the settlement statement. Um, it gives the borrowers and the sellers transactions and if you can see there's like section J is the borrower's transaction. It gives 100s, 200s, 300s, and those are just the different um, amounts due. And it, it, it shows them. So again, I don't, I'm not gonna read those out to you. Section K is a, summer, a summary of the seller's transaction. So if you, um, like I said, if you don't have time to pull it up right now, maybe pull it up later and you can see. Then there's page two and that gives the settlement charges and you've got basically two columns and those are either the paid from borrower's funds and settlement or paid from seller's funds and settlement. And if you just look down the line, it's the 700s through the 1400s. Each section has um, a category that you're going to include. If you're not sure, always just call your underwriter. One of us can help you. But for the most part, it's pretty clear what's going to go in there. Uh, you know, if it's commission, it says commission. Um, same government recording and transfer taxes. It's going to go in uh, section 1200. I actually used to have these all memorized when I did closings, but haven't had a closing in a few years. So I end with a HUD-1 settlement statement, so I don't. Um, but anyway, take a look at those. If you guys have questions, definitely let me know. These, again, are a little bit more simplified than the CD, so we've got a lot shorter video this week. Um, with that, we'll call it a week, and we'll see you guys all next week.